Hi, this is lesson number 76 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create die line for packaging design in Coral Draw. In my screen, you can see here I have packaging for mouse. Based on this die line, we created this design. We will be learning all process from the beginning step by step how to create die line. Here you can see that I have presentation for you to understand. Before you create packaging for any product, the first thing you need to measure the product from the length, width and height. Of course, all products are three dimensional, so you need to measure X, Y and Z. So here we have mouse, the length of the mouse is 13 centimeter, width is 6.5 and height is 4.5. In this presentation, I show you the panel 13 by 4.5 is the front panel and it will be repeated to the other side 6.5 by 4.5 is the front panel and this is here and 13 by 6.5 is the size of the bottom and top basically these six panel will create the box but we will add additional fold also the way we have here and the pasting panel as well this dotted line box this is the main size of the packaging so let's get started the first thing you need to set your measurement units in my case it is in centimeter my document is in centimeter and in front of the unit you can see here we have nudge distance nudge distance is a single space once you move any object or point I will give you an example here we have a rectangle I will just draw a rectangular shape and if I will use arrow key to move the single movement of this box is quarter centimeter that I set here if we want to move object or point precisely in our page we need to set the nudge distance to do this you need to click on the page and just set your desired distance here I have paper size a3 that is twice of A4 and it is more than enough for this product. We will start with the rectangle. Click on rectangle tool and create simple rectangle. Width we will add 6.5 and the length will be 13 centimeter. So this is the panel we have here. Left side we have pasting panel. Press plus key to duplicate press control key and move from this point to the left so it will be flip now we need to resize from this side to do that you can see here we have transform box from any side we can lock our object so if I will click on this small point now from this side these three transform controls are locked we are going to add the size here one centimeter and hit enter it is resized from the left side here we are going to create this panel so press plus key press control and flip to the right now we are going to lock this side so simply I will click on this point and here we will add this panel size that is 4.5 by 13 since we copy from this object so it is already 13 the width we will change 4.5 hit enter now it is simple we can select both of them by pressing alt key press plus key and move we are not going to flip we are not going to mirror we will just move and snap snap from the corner this way if your object snap is not enabled you need to click on view snap to and here we have option this should be checked now we are going to add the folding panels so we can start from this select this object press plus key resize from the bottom and here our size is 6.5 by 4.5 this is already 6.5 we need to change the size uh, vertically so we are going to lock these points click here add size 4.5 hit enter another additional rounded corner press plus key once again resize and here we have size 1.5 centimeter 
it is locked from the bottom we will just add size 1.5 hit enter we can convert this object to curve and use shape tool to apply the roundness manually or if we want we can set directly radius here i am going to set the radius from upper right and left make sure that edit corner together is unlocked and then add radius 0 0.7 from the left and 0 0.7 from the right hit enter here we have another additional panel this we are going to create select this object press plus key once again we will resize the first thing we will align with this panel on top so just stretch it and snap to this object and the size of this fold will be half of this vertically our size is 6 cm it is locked from the bottom and we will type 3 hit enter now let us modify this way right click convert to curve use shape tool double click to add another point use arrow key this upper point I am going to move also add two point from the right double click once again the second point I will move to the left twice and this point three time here we have pasting we need to shape this way select it right click convert to curve using shape tool one two and from bottom also now we are going to add this from the right side select it press plus key simply mirror horizontally and snap it to the corner select all upper fold press plus key mirror vertically and here we are going to connect this way select these three objects connect it select three of them snap it from the corner so this is how we created uh, this die line for packaging the rest thing here we have text picture there is some logo and uh, title text i added simple color black color in all panels once you have accurate size for the die line you can create any design based on that all what you have to do you need to measure the object draw all the side on white paper for your reference and then work in coral draw that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you